This is the fastest and easiest way to level up the gold hoarders as of the latest update in Sea of Thieves. If you're new here, why not subscribe for more no-nonsense guides? And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. Starting off, as soon as you spawn in, you're going to want to raise the Gold Hoarder Emissary. If you don't have this unlocked, you will need to level up Gold Hoarders to level 15 for attempting this method. Once the flag has been raised, you will need to head over to your boat and vote to dive on a quest. The object of this method is to reach grade 5 as fast as possible. I found two ways of doing this effectively. Select Voyages, Gold Hoarders and Raid Voyages. You could either choose a Battle with the Burning Blades Armada, which will see you take on waves of ghostly ships or duel with an ashen lord which will see you fight an ashen lord if you choose to go with the ghost fleet you will need to make sure that you kill all of the sub bosses first before you take out flameheart to get the maximum emissary grade normal ships will take three cannonballs fire bombs or blunder bombs to kill the sub bosses take 10 and flameheart ship will take 20. you can tell which ship is the final boss as it has red sails this event takes longer but gives better rewards and emissary grade much quicker. If you choose to duel with an Ashen Lord, you will need to complete a lot more of these events to get to grade 5. So, what I like to do is on the island that you spawn at, check for skeleton captains and message in a bottle as these can lead to some incredible gold hoarder loot, meaning emissary grade quicker. This is a super quick event to finish, so you can keep cycling these events to get to grade 5. If you don't reach grade 5 in your first run, make sure you sell your loot in between diving or you will lose everything. When you dive, you do keep your emissary flag, so do not lower this. If you spot shipwrecks, these are also now incredible sources of gold hoarder loot and can actually contain the best loot in the game. So make sure to keep an eye out for birds in the sky and if there is a shipwreck, you are in with the money. After you reach grade 5, what you're going to want to do is sell everything you currently have and go to your quest table. Select Voyages, Gold Hoarders and Buried Treasure. Scroll down until you see an Ashen Pirate's Treasure Map. Select this voyage and it will take you to the Devil's Rule. From where you spawn at, sail right to Morrow's Peak and go to the Gold Hoarder Tent. Claim your Emissary Voyage. You must claim it from here, otherwise this will not work. Doing this will give you multiple treasure maps which will lead to islands very close to Morrow's Peak. These digs will give you all of the new loot for the Gold Hoarders and the Ashen variants, which is incredible for reputation. After digging up all of the chests, travel back to Morrow's Peak to sell everything. Make sure you lower your gold hoarder flag so you can now repeat the method. Throughout the session you have just done, you should now have made a lot of gains on your gold hoarder reputation. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing, and if you're looking for more Sea of Thieves content, there is a video on your screen right now.